when we need to create a new typology, there is a field type that could be very useful in many cases. It is the collection field. Depending on the requirements of the CMS page that we need to create, the collection field can provide us with an easy way to save a group of fields in one single content. Let's see a working example in order to have a better idea of what we mean. If we go to the CMS Contents tab and we select the page underscore form, we can edit this content. Here in this section, we can see how the collection field will work. We have this tab underscore data field that has three items within it. Each of these items are a collection item and at the same time each of them contains different fields according to the needs. All of these fields are simple text field type but we can add any kind of CMS fields in here. If we check the preview of this content, we can see first the name, then the email, and finally the social number. What we are doing is to retrieve this information from here. First name, then email, and finally social number. If we swap the order of these elements and we put the social number in the first position, we save and when we refresh we have the social number in the first position. This is the way a collection field works. In this video we will see how to make this work by ourselves. So let's go to the configuration tab. Let's search for the test typology we are working on this tutorial video series and we edit it. What we will do is to add a new field type collection. If we assign a name like collection underscore field And here we can see a new section where, it, where we can add as many fields as needed to build it. Let's add a long text and an image field to this collection. We need to assign a name like collection underscore text underscore one. And collection underscore image underscore one and let's assign a maximum width of 300 pixels we save and now we can add some content to this new field so if we go to the test underscore typology we edit any of the contents sorry we edit and here we have the new field the collection one so we can start to add items to this collection what I will do is to copy and paste some random text and let's add some images let's apply to all languages we can add another element apply to all languages okay we save and we have them one and two now how do we get this collection field data in the front end side 
let's edit the view page template. So we should go to settings, themes, each of folder. And we will search for the view here, CMS view test underscore typology. So the first thing we will do is to print the content variable in order to see what we are retrieving. We save. If we open the preview of this content, here we have the fields that we printed before and now we are printing the content variable. Here we can see all the information of the content as we saw in the previous tutorial video. And if we check the fields object, we see that inside of it, we have the collection field that is an object too, which has two elements inside of it. Each of them are the fields that we added, the path image and the text of the two collection items. So all what we need to do is to do a for each loop through this collection field object and we will get the information. We can do this very quickly. Uh, it's just a for each. Let's do it. For each from content fields collection field item collection okay so if we add some quick bootstrap classes just to give some layout to this content for instance we can print the text that was in the collection underscore text underscore one image the uh, one text we save and if we refresh here we have the two text fields of the collection and we should do the same with the image but at least you can have an idea of how this works remember that you can always swap elements or remove elements from the collection that is all up to you well that's all thank you